What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another NASCAR diecast review. Now, I remember a couple weeks ago I told you I was going to eventually bring you this video on Kevin Harvick's 2003 Brickyard 400 win raced version car. And here it is. I finally got it out of my stash. I had to look for it for a little bit. But I finally found it. And I'm going to show you compare this one to some of uh, Lionel's cars that they've done recently and stuff like that and show you can't really compare two different cars but I'm going to show you all the stuff on this one compared to ones that they've done now so we're going to like I said this is from 2003 I don't know if you can kind of see it make it out it's victory burnout Number 29 GM Goodrich and 2003 Monte Carlo. I'm going to open this one up. I mean, I've already had this one open up, you know, years ago when I first bought it. <clears throat> but of course, you know, I want you guys to see this one in case you haven't seen it or anything like that. But here you go. There's not too many, uh, a little bit of a uh, you know race wear and stuff like that on there Not too many tire rubs but you can tell that the back tire has a little bit of dirt and stuff to it back end ain't too bad but this side is where I really want you guys to see get the big old tire rub right there and this is where the tire exploded when he was doing his burnout now oh. You can tell that this isn't all painted on there like Lionel does with their cars now. But if you look real close to it, you know, you can tell that rubber marks that hit along the car and all that stuff. And how the tires all beat it up and everything like that. And look at that. Now you can tell that's probably been painted on there somehow, but still. The tires all start are all coming apart and everything like that. And melded and all that kind of stuff or this part's coming up and right there i mean it's that's that's the kind of detail i want when they have these checkers and wreckers cars that's what i want i don't want to buy a die cast car and have the thing like just paint it on there and make it look like it was all wrecked and even like dale jr's done what did he had a checkers or wreckers i think it was a bristol car we had uh, half his front fender was ripped apart and all you could see was the hoses and stuff like that so i bought that car and i'm thinking oh yeah they're gonna that's the way they're gonna have it right wrong and i'll do a video on that car too but you know they had it all painted on there it's like the body was all perfectly fine you know it wasn't all chewed up like this but they had everything just painted on there it's like i don't want to paint it under i want to see the actual wreck i want to be able to hold that car and say man look at he wrecked that thing up and Chewed it all up into that, you know. That's the what he did in that race when he did his victory burnout right there. You know, that's the kind of stuff I want to see. And even Carl Lars Kyle Larson, he had a car, and I think it was either might have been this year. He was a uh, Bristol, I think it was Brit Bristol or Martinsville when he uh, did his burnout all the way around the track. And he blew out both tires, and he had, like, pieces of rubber, fall, you know, behind his car and everything like that. And they never even did anything with that one. They never even, you know, made it like that. That's kind of pretty sad. But, yeah, this is, it's pretty, this is a pretty cool car. When I first got this one, I think I paid uh, close to 100 bucks for it. Um, I'm sure you might be able to find it online for way less than that, but. Like I said, this is when it first came out, and it was close to 100. I'm, I'm going to say it was probably like 70 something altogether. But um, yeah, these were going for a pretty good penny when they first got out and stuff like that. But you know, you can see the, that's the fuel cell in there. Of course, these didn't have the dins on them yet either, so. You got the GM good wrench underneath the hood. Now this would have been an awesome throwback if I had a Darlington race that um Kevin Harvick could have raced. It would have been really cool. 
and we're, you know when they do have those uh throwback races i wish they'd have them back for the exact same number and well maybe not the same number but the same kind of paint scheme and sponsor and all that stuff so if he would have had this car even though it would have been like a, a ford mustang instead of a monte carlo he would have had the same paint scheme and he could have had you know the number four and then had the good wrench and stuff like that out there just for one race you know that would have been pretty cool but yeah i mean it's these you know it's this is a great example of how action did their cars back in the day compared to how they do it now you know they really were good at getting all their details and blowouts and race version stuff compared to now everything's just like just painted on there and they got these checkers of records and that's just all painted on there it's not even you know metal's not even all banged up like this you know that's what's great and what they did then compared to what they do now so they get paid more money to make these things but they uh are less at their attention to detail so but yeah this is a great car to add to your collection if you could find one of these cars online somewhere at uh anywhere macari ebay i wouldn't go there but you know if, if that's where you prefer it's fine but you know like i said they're it's a great addition i'm sure you could probably find them a lot cheaper than what they are now or what they used to be back then but you know, I, I really like this uh, version of this car that he used that he raced. I like the silver and black. I think it looks real cool. But there you have it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And please like or subscribe to my channel. And give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.